Welcome Medieval by DJ SPRC. We have our TRX4M here. And this is the series of upgrading this TRXM. <clears throat> what we're going to do today is the TRX 9787, the brass diff covers. Uh, these are basically, uh, da, da, da. I don't remember what's the weight on these. Many in like nine grams. I thought they said it on it, but they don't. But yeah. Um, reason is just to give it a little bit more weight in the front. Uh, I'm going to do the back too. That way they do match. But you don't really need it in a lot of more weight in the back. A uh, simple reason is when you do climb a hill, that your vehicle doesn't flip backwards. But let's install this on our TX4M. Okay, we have our body off. We're going to remove our wheels. Again, you don't need to, but why not? Give yourself a little bit more room. Do the other side. And we have our diff cover and our screws here. If you look at multiple instructions, things like that, they'll say to remove the complete diff. I try not to dismantle the vehicle. I try to dismantle the vehicle less as possible. Now, you will see there's one screw here, one there, and two more on top. I'm just gonna close this light here. There's one right here. My camera can focus. And one here, one there, and same thing on the other side. You may not have been able to see that one. What I'm going to try to do here is try to bring this camera in. For some reason she doesn't want to, it's too dark. But again, you'll see there's one here and one the other side, and one just on top of it, where the link are. What I'm gonna do is insert my screwdriver and grab that screw a little bit on an angle. It will come out no problem. I'll do both sides. And if you notice here, that's the front one. It's done already. And I did it the same way. Now I'm going to do the bottom ones. And yes, the screws are long. Well, close to an inch long. And now the diff cover should practically almost fall. There you go. Here's your cover. Put that there. Now we're going to remove those screws because we're not going to reuse those screws. There's one. There you go. One did not want to come out. We're going to reuse the screws that came with the diffs because they are threaded. The other ones are kind of screwed. We'll grab our diff. There's only one way to insert it. Insert it. And we're going to do a bottom screw. One of our bottom screws is a lot easier to reach and it will hold it. And like I said, if you want to, you can remove the links. 
I'll show you in a second here. You could remove the links here on the shocks on both sides and you'll be able to tilt it. But again, I have no issues doing it this way. Uh, if I can give myself less work, that's personally what I try to do. Screw that one in. Grab my other screw. I'm going to put it in the hole right now. It's going to be a lot easier to screw in. Because if you try to bring the complete screw in on the screwdriver at the same time, it's not gonna go, not gonna go in correctly. done try to do the other side now again I'm gonna drop it in I'll try it like I said could do it this way too but now you have the full link screw trying to bolt in I'm gonna push it in When it's snug, I stop. And this is how you do your diff covers and brass on a TX4M. Now, if you guys have any questions or comment, post down below. I'd be gladly to answer you guys. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe. I do appreciate it. It does help the channel a lot. Thank you for watching.